Okay, quick video here to talk about how to research the internet the smart way. And I'm on a page that I'll link to our web, to our Moodle site. Uh, so you're going to need background information on your topic, keywords, and a way to locate credible sources. Um, and I'm actually going to recommend a couple of places that most professors won't. For example, I think you should always start with Wikipedia, particularly if you don't know much about the topic. So I'm going to research robots here in Wikipedia. And what Wikipedia does for me, aside from giving me background information, is it gives me these keywords that I can use to search. So mechanical intelligent agent, virtual agent, electromechanical machine. These are other words for robot. And down here I have a selection of different types of robots that I can also search. So this gives me actually a good way to start and I can read all about robots and then come down here to the references page where I'll find things like um, a book, a BBC special on robots then and now, some articles from Wired magazine. So all places where I can sort of begin to expand my understanding of robots. Once I have sort of a basic understanding of the topic, I'm going to go to Google. But I'm a smart Google searcher. So for one thing, I look at these search help tips, and I'll link to this as well, so that I can figure out basic Boleyn search terms that I can use to narrow my searches in Google. And these are some that we're going to be looking at now. I'm not going to do the fill in the blank one, the asterisk here, but it's a really awesome one, and I recommend reading up on it. Okay, so let's start my search for robots. Robot. And you'll see that there is just an enormous number of hits here because I'm just searching the plain word by itself. Now let's say that I've gone through a few of these pages and they all talk about nanotechnology and I'm not interested in that for this paper. So I'm going to do minus nanotechnology and it's going to limit my search to only sites on nanotechnology or on robots that don't include anything on nanotechnology. Now I've narrowed it again here with the site colon edu. It's going to search only for education sites. And here narrowing again, looking only for government sites. And of course the first hit would be NASA. I can also search NASA's page pretty quickly to find the information if it's here by going to edit find, typing in in this case Meteor, and you'll see it brings me right to the first mention of meteors. And if I click next, it'll bring me to all mentions of that word on that page. Okay, so I've searched general sort of sites. Now I want to search only Oakland's site. And so again, I do the site colon and then oakland.edu, and you'll see that this brings me only hits from Oakland. Okay, let's get rid of some of this. And let's say I'm actually researching the movie Robot Monster. I want to make sure the phrase Robot Monster is a phrase. In other words, that Google isn't going to find me every site with the words robot and monster anywhere, but only sites with those two words together. And there are my hits. And now in Google Scholar, if I can ever open it, this is going to bring me to academic articles and books and actually some papers and pamphlets as well. So you'll see actually leaving Robot Monster in there, I actually got some hits here from some different journals on film and film history. So even the worst movie ever gets some academic attention. And what I'm going to do now is just put in Robot and see what it brings me for articles and books. And you'll see I've got quite a few hits and I can actually go to the PDF of these articles and read the entire thing. And because Google is taking over the world in a wonderful way, I can read this entire book. There may be a few pages missing from each chapter, but the majority of the book is there and can at least give me an idea if I need to get it out of the library. So again, check out Google research tips or Google search tips here, and I'll link to that to figure out how to research Google in a smart way. And let's go back to the main document. 
Now for your projects, you may need to search the Internet Archive. We call it the Wayback Machine. And this is awesome. I can input any website. And in this case, I'm going to input one that I had back at Illinois State and search for it. And you'll see it gives me nothing from 2000, but 2001 at least took two pictures of my website. And I can go to the calendar and let's pull up this particular one from April 13th, 2001, that apparently I updated at 2150. And here's my awesome, oh, incredibly bad first, actually this might be a second or third, website and researching the internet under writing links. So this is a good way to take a look at websites and web communities and to see how they've transformed over the years. A couple of other directories, the virtual library here, YouTube, OU's academic conduct policy. Um, so this is a good place to start with your research. Obviously, if you're doing more academic topics, you're going to want to move away from sort of open web resources and move into the databases that are available in the library and that are only available really to you as a student at the university. So check out the databases at the library homepage and happy researching.